there, everybody. Sorry I'm a few minutes behind schedule. Um, I don't know if the post got posted in time, but um, I had to deal with a, an iPad emergency. Um, my husband's out of town for a couple of days, so solo parenting. And, of course, it happened right at, like, 629. Uh, Zach's, Zach has two iPads. He uses one mostly during the day and one for overnight for listening to music and things like that for when he's sleeping and somehow the daytime one didn't charge very well last night so it ran out and that was a very uh frustrating situation for him to say the least so first we had to make sure that he knew that uh it was okay to switch to the nighttime one even though it's not quite the right time yet and then then things were all better so here we are monday night again uh it's about 6 38 so i'm like i said a little bit behind schedule but Hopefully, you'll find me, and if you're watching later, hope you had a great day. <laughs> I just want to remind you guys again about the uh, sale for this month on bundles that include dyes. And you start on page 35 with the Mediterranean Blooms. So remember, not the whole collection, but just the bundle of the stamps and dyes. And then it'll go all the way through page 73. So there are so many wonderful ones to choose from here. So any of these ones that are bundles with dyes, uh, you can get for an additional 10% off for this month. Remember, they're already 10% off because of the bundling, and then you get an additional one. Um, my on-camera one tonight, I'm going to be using Wildly Flowering, and I think, let's see if I can show you any of that. Thoughtful Journey will be in here as well, and I'm going to be using the Country Woods DSP at some point. Um... Let's see if there's any other ones. Oh, yeah, I wanted to point out this one in particular. I do have this on one of my samples tonight. This is labeled with love, and you actually have two options. So remember, hey, Carla, good to see you alive. Well, see you. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, so the bundle with the dies is what would be on sale this month. Then there's also a punch. So you can do the bundle two ways. You can do it with a punch. You can do it with dies. Or if you're like me, I actually got both parts here because I knew punch would be come in handy for a quick thing. And being able to die cut multiples at once would also make do well for me when I'm going to be doing bulk items or classes or something like that. So um, what you could do then is save the additional 10% on doing the bundle with the die and then just purchase the punch separately. So that's a great taking advantage of uh, the sale this month. Always a good idea. Um, for the most part, one of the things I'm featuring is from the online exclusives, and that is the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. It's another one of those that is all just beautiful scenery with some fun uh, either ombre patterns or something like that on the back. Whoops, it's all upside down now. Okay. <laughs> um, ombre patterns. It was, that's one almost looks like wood. Um, and I love that they're kind of watercolor muted... Um, what would that be, Monet style, so to speak, <laughs> if you're going with the artistry part of it. Um, they make great backgrounds for so many different things. I could see you guys using these in scrapbooks so easily as just background pieces. They would frame out things very love, very much, um, very lovely, I should say. There we go. See, I'm all flustered because I'm late. Um, so this is a six by six pack, and these are all the wonderful designs that are in there. Holy cow, that is such a fun one. So again, you can find that in the online exclusives. And a couple of the bundles I'm sharing tonight are also online exclusive. So I will have that all posted up when I um, upload the pictures later tonight. I have another um, meeting after this, so it'll be a little later tonight when all that stuff will be up on the page. All right, so let's jump in and get crafty. All right, so for tonight, you needed a piece of neutral cardstock. That was two by three. For on camera here, I'm going to be using basic beige. And then a card base, so the five and a half by eight and a half, that's scored at four and a quarter. So again, mine is basic beige. Then a um, piece of cardstock that's two and a quarter by three and a quarter. I have Highland Heather. Your DSP, two and three quarter by four and three quarter. We're going to be using this horizontally. So two and three quarters is your height. And then either another piece of designer series paper or another piece of cardstock. Hi, Carol. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, so either one of those that you want to do, totally up to you, one and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we're going to use that vertically. So in case either of your pieces of DSP are directional, make sure you've got them going the right direction. So your um, height here, four and a quarter, your height here is the two and three quarters. All right, let's take that piece of neutral, whatever you have. Again, I got basic beige going here. And I have my wild from Wildly Flowering. I've got kind of like a dandelion looking thing, but I'm going to do it in a different color. And then my phrase, thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and do my thank you in Misty Moonlight. 
and that's going to go kind of near the bottom, like so. I love the script in this wildly flowering. Uh, very delicate, uh, looks very much, you know, handwritten, which is just a lovely, lovely effect. All right, and then this guy I'm going to stamp in Highland Heather, and it's going to go right above. Okay? I'm also going to add a little one off to the side, and then one more, and each time you'll see the ink got lighter and lighter, so it kind of looks like a little cluster, but the focus is on that first one that you did at full impression. All right, so that is all the stamping you need to do, or those, is whatever you're going to do on your neutral piece. And then let's go ahead, we can start laying out this for assembly. So you need to take your handy dandy bone folder, which of course I don't have handy dandy. So we're just going to use the edge of the block. That always works. <laughs> it's usually right in my little pencil cup and it's not. Oh well, I'll find that later I suppose. <laughs> okay, so there is your card front. We're going to go horizontal again. First you're going to take that DSP. Look at the back side of that. It's so gorgeous. Love this meandering meadows. And the bright colors are so bright and cheerful. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. So it's basically going to be centered. You're going to have more room top and bottom, obviously, than you do left and right, but basically centered across there. Okay. Then go ahead and take that piece of either DSP or cardstock, whatever you chose to use. And we're going to whoop, put some adhesive on the back of that. I just have a piece of Misty Moonlight, like I said before. And this is going to go across the whole card. Maybe just a little over the center, but not very much. And if you don't think you, if you've cut it a little too long, you think I would butt up this end, for, end first, and then you can just flip that open and see if you have a little bit to trim off right there. It'll make it easy to cut that back down to size. All right, so this other piece of cardstock then was the mat for whatever you have done on your neutral piece. And that should be framed out pretty perfectly like so. And then again, on camera here, I'm just going to show you everything laid out flat. And as I go through samples, there'll be other layers, other things, and dimensionals, and fun things like that. And this is going to go covering a little bit of that piece right there, and then kind of centered over that piece of designer series paper. So there you go. That is the basic layout of what we've got going on tonight. So let me show you. Let's see. I'll leave this up at the top so you can kind of see that. All right. Let me go through a couple more samples. Uh, this one here um, is Thoughtful Wishes. So these are two dies that are come from the Thoughtful Wishes bundle. Uh, I cut them out of curry and garden green and then stamped the thanks plus that little blob, <laughs> little sprinkle, speckles, whatever you want to call it, ink splat, <laughs> a couple times over there. And I did stamp that off uh, before putting it on there so that it's a little bit more muted. Um, here again is another piece from that collection of Meandering Meadows DSP backed with curry. And, I, and then this piece here comes from one of the flip side of one of these guys is this green kind of ombreish part. So there is that one. And then here I have translucent florals. Um, this is a carryover one. So yes, there are dies to go with it, but they are not bundled. So um, I guess I'm kind of cheating on the sale a little bit there, but it's one of my favorites to go to. <laughs> um, so actually, I took my stamp a couple times to the piece itself and then a couple times on my card base. So there's just a little hint of it peeking out from the back. And this one uses um, bubble bath and blueberry bushel. And so I've added, um, again, that piece of designer series paper. This piece of blueberry bushel I did just crinkle with my hands, kind of clumped it into a ball and flattened it back out again. So it has a little texture to it. And then I added this little piece that's from the dies along with some uh, rhinestones just to jazz that up a little bit. <laughs> okay, here's what the one I told you was using um, the, what I, I forgot what the name of it was. The one I showed you has dies and a punch. <laughs> so I first stamped, I've got little flowers in the background that are done in bubble bath. And then this is Misty Moonlight over it. And then I punched that out. And then I took a piece of Night of Navy and I just punched it out my, again. Um, and then you, what you do is you slice that down the middle of the back one. And then you can just spread it out a little bit. And it looks like it's framing the piece, even though they're technically the exact same size. So it's a way to get double dose, double dipping into your, um, your punches so that you get uh, enough pieces to, to do what you want to do for layering. So if it's not something that has an automatic layer, that comes in really, really handy to be able to do one like that. So I was going to, there we go. I can do it this way. So again, what you're saying is you take your punch, 
and like so. And then you're just gonna grab your scissors and what you would do is just cut up the middle. And then, like I said, you just spread that out a little bit and then your punched piece originally that's full will lay on top of that and then you have a little bit of a border showing through on each side. So that's kind of a fun way to use your, again, double dipping on your punches a little bit. Um, I added some, this is Country Woods Designer Series paper, and I added, I stamped over it with these leaves that are the background leaves of this flower. So they kind of are a two-step part, so you can make flowers with leaves. And in this case, I just stamped them separately. And then some kind of fun gems. They're actually considered petunia pop, but I think the color in them is enough... Uh, that it kind of blends with several different things. So it kind of fit into this little pinky and red situation we got going back, going on in that DSP. All right, now Irresistible Blooms is another one that is in the online store. And this one's a little bit different to where I did take, um, this is actually one of the dies in there. It cuts out this really long piece that are all these different little lines and dots and stuff. So I use that in place of my extra piece of DSP or my cardstock. Hi, Kathy, good to see you tonight. Um, I took the dots from there and I added a little bit to each corner again so just drawing some interest to the background layer and a little bit of pearls happening in there just to give that a little pop of color and then this one would be uh, balmy blue and fresh freesia and my neutral in this one was vanilla all right so let's go back to the original so again we started with a card base that was basic beige um, and again, basic beige, um, one of the new entries to our system, uh, our system, <laughs> to our line in our catalog. And I am in love. I'm in love with basic beige. I got to say, it's it's been a go-to neutral for me quite often. I'm sure you guys are going, oh, look, we're seeing basic beige again. <laughs> All right. And here's my stepped up version. So what I did, oh, look at that. What I did is I didn't cut that down when I cut off the four and a quarter length. So it's really supposed to be skinnier. So pretend it's skinnier. <laughs> Although that doesn't look too bad either. Um, so what I did here, I got wildly flowering again, and I went with it. I used the dies to first die cut this guy out. So he's he's actually popped up and on that background piece. And then one of the dies in there makes this frame shape. So instead of my neutral being a piece that's two by three, Carla, I'm on my pack, packet number two. I gotta say, I've I've gotten my first packet down to just like schnibbles and bits at this point. So yeah, I'm I'm opening packet number two really soon. <laughs> um, and then I've got Misty Moonlight and um, the, what did I put in the background here? Pet, uh, Highland Heather, right? Um, and then uh, again, this comes from the uh, Wildly Flowering DSP, and then the Wildflower Designs stamp set and dies created that little section in there. So you, as you go through this, you can pop up obviously very different layers. So again, I popped up, this guy's popped up on there, and then they're popped up off the background. So the layering can be um, whatever you guys feel comfortable doing. Uh, and if you're going to be mailing them, then of course I take, I tend to do less layering uh, or popping up at least for sure, uh, because you don't want to end up having like extra postage or something like that into your card. But if you're just handing them out or propping them up in your studio to look pretty, <laughs> go for it. Add all the things, add the gems, add the layers. It's all good. <laughs> All right, so again, here we go back through some of the ones that I was sharing before. Um, different ways, again, we use your diff DSPs different ways. You can use those color, different colors different ways for creating the different layers that are in all of these. All right, friends, that is going to do it for me for tonight. Um, I will, again, I have a meeting right after this, so I will hopefully have all the photos and the details uploaded later tonight. Um, so you can go back and see what I've used on here. But um, for the most part, it was all bundles that have dies or stamp sets that have matching dies for sure, mostly bundles. Um, some from the online store, some from the catalog. And again, that Meandering Meadows DSP is an online exclusive. You can go ahead and check it out there um, in the online store. So when you go into the online store, there is specifically a spot that just says online exclusives, and then you can find it right in that section there. You don't have to hunt too far. All right, everybody, that'll do it for me tonight. You guys have a great week, and I will see you again next Monday night. Take care, everybody.